Merry late Christmas, everyone. Now, I know this video is super late, but I've had a hard time making this video. So, even though Christmas time is over, what the hell? I'm still going to sing you guys a freaking Christmas song. Oh, we wish you a merry... The Atari 2600, one of the most classic video game consoles of all time. Well, yes, it's not as famous as the NES or Super Nintendo. It had its place in history and still to this day remains one of the most classic video game consoles of all time. So, let's take a look. The Video Computer System by Atari. The Super System. More games, more fun. Oh, I bet. And yes, I called it the Video Computer System because that's what it says on the box. Oh, there's the 2600. Maybe that's where they got it from. Alright, now let's see what's in the box. You got your controller. The console. And the AC adapter. So that's everything that comes in the box. Okay then. Let's plug it in. Alright, put the console up here. Plug the AC adapter into there. Plug the other end into the outlet. Plug the controller in. And plug the composite cable into the, um... To the, um... Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Yeah! Apparently, the Atari 2600 doesn't have composite cables because it's so old. You need one of these. Oh, and you want to know what you need to plug this in? You need one of those old box things. And those two things right there, you gotta screw on the top of your TV. What the hell with that? I'm not gonna freaking screw a box on the top of my TV. You know what you need? One of these. Yeah. All you need is one of these. All you gotta do is screw it onto the back of your TV, plug the cable into it, and now you don't even need that freaking box. Now all I need is the games, and I think I ordered some online. Maybe they're here. Oh! Yeah, alright. So we've got Frogger. Pac-Man, Spider-Man, and... You know what, I'll just leave this one to the side. For now. Alright, so the first game we're gonna look at is Frogger. Plug it in. It's Frogger, but with worse graphics. But even though it has worse graphics, it's still Frogger. So that was Frogger on Atari 2600. What did I think about it? Well, it's okay, 
but for a home console port of Frogger, it's pretty good. So, eh, stem it up to 10. Next up, one of the most classic arcade games of all time, Pac-Man. Well, it's Pac-Man, but like with Frogger, worse graphics. Well, of course, you're Pac-Man trying to avoid all the ghosts before they kill you. And of course, chomp down all the pellets. And that was Pac-Man on Atari 2600. What did I think about it? The same way I think of Frogger. Um, it's okay, but for a home console port of Pac-Man, it's pretty good. So, again, 7 out of 10. Next up, Spider-Man, the first ever Spider-Man game. So, of course, you're Spider-Man trying to get to the top of the building, and... That's all you do. You're supposed to get to the top of the building and touch the super bomb at the top. And as you can see, it's hard. And that was Spider-Man on the Atari 2600. How is it? Well, for the first Spider-Man game, it's okay. Uh, 5 out of 10. Well... You remember that game that I put on the side earlier? It's time to take a look at it. I can't believe we have to take a look at this game. You ready? Because I'm not. Okay. Here it is. E.T. On Atari... 2600. It's not the worst game ever made, but it definitely has a legendary story. E.T. the Extraterrestrial was the highest grossing movie of 1982. So to capitalize on its success, Atari struck a deal with Steven Spielberg to make an E.T. video game with a few minor problems. By the time Atari got the rights to the movie, they only had five weeks to make the entire game to hit the Christmas deadline. And when the game came out, it flopped hard. It sold well, but it flopped. In fact, it flopped so hard that the great video game crash of 1983 happened, supposedly. The game was so bad, it said that Atari went out to the desert in Mexico to bury the game. So if such a story like that, is this really the worst game of all time? I guess I have no choice but to find out. <sighs> Let's get this god-awful game over with. So in starting the game, E.T. comes down from space. Now he has to go back? Why'd he come down in the first place? All he had to do was stay on that ship, and there wouldn't be a game. And wouldn't that be better if E.T. came down and went right back up again? The biggest complaint anyone has about this game are the pits. They are everywhere! Ugh! The stiff controls only make this game harder to play. And this game is also really freaking confusing. You wanna know why? All the freaking symbols on the top of the screen. Seriously, these symbols are so confusing. Seriously, have you ever played a game this confusing? No. To get E.T. home, you need to find phone pieces. And guess where they are? In the pits. There's this FBI agent that'll take them away from you. And then there's this scientist lady that'll just take you to this lab. 
These two could be really freaking annoying. Ugh! What am I gonna do? I need some freaking information about this game. Wait. Oh! I'm gonna get information about this game in Game Informer. Nope, no information. If E.T. walks around too much, he dies. Yeah, E.T. dies by walking around too much. Seriously, this game is so freaking hard to play, it would probably be easier with a second player. And there isn't a two-player option. But what if there was? Who the hell am I going to get to play this piece of crap with me? No one! You know why? This game sucks. So... Who in the right mind would want to play with me on this game? I have a better chance of cloning myself. Don't believe me? Watch! Want to play E.T.? Yep. So after you found all three phone pieces, then you have to find the call zone. It looks like a Space Invaders alien. So you know what that means? You gotta go all around the stage to find it. So once you find it, you gotta press the action button, and then a timer will appear on the top of the screen. And then you gotta go find the landing zone. And once you find that, the timer will go down, and E.T. goes home. And you've beaten the game. Thank you, Elliot. So, is this really the worst game of all time? No. Just, just, no. There are far more worse games. And I do mean far more worse video games. But, for what it did, it deserves to have something done to it. Now, what should I possibly do with this game? Should I hit it with a hammer? No. Should I light it on fire? No. Should I dig it up like the Atari landfill? No, that would be cool though. Wait, I got it. I could send it into space! Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, you freaking piece of crap! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my Atari 2600 review, because, well, this was supposed to be a Christmas special, but, like I said at the beginning of the video, I had a hard time making it. But... Believe it or not, the next video is going to be, believe it or not, another game review. Now, what game am I going to review? Oh no.